The discovery of a meth lab at a Lakeshore home has led to tips that could take police to other suspected meth labs in the same area. But the question now is how many of them are linked to that home and how can you identify a potential meth lab if you have suspicions? General Forrest Eric Avigny joins us now live to answer those questions. Eric? Well, it was inside a shed behind this home where police found that meth lab. Of course, that is what they are trained to do. But the average person can do the same as long as they are using their sense of sight and smell. It was during the course of investigating a meth lab at this home when neighbors gave police some startling information. We've talked to some neighbors here who have indicated other addresses besides this one. That means there are potentially more meth labs that police have yet to discover. Investigators tell News for Jax they are treating this location as ground zero, then working outward to locate other labs in the area. Labs that could be putting neighbors at risk. But how would you know if you're living next to one? News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says there are simple things to keep in mind. First, you're going to notice um, odors, chemical smells. It smells like maybe ammonia or vinegar, foul smell that's coming from the house. A bad smell combined with boards or paper covering windows is also a sign that something illegal may be happening inside. Fast-moving foot traffic in and out of the home is also a sign, but watching neighbors putting trash bags in their car is a major red flag. They'll transport their garbage. They'll put it in a trunk and dump it someplace. That way people can't really notice the odor as much from the garbage because it's not there. Now, Smith says if you notice those signs and are truly suspicious, you can contact police uh, with an anonymous tip. Also, if it is proven to be an actual meth lab and you think that you may have been exposed to some of the chemicals, uh, you're urged to uh, obviously go to the hospital, go to your doctor, at least get checked out just to make sure you're okay. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.